The automatic landing system shows green of the last diagnostic. Just in time to return to Enterprise in two hours. No shuttle pilot uses automatic landing when coming back to the hangar deck. What? Helmsman Sulu uses automatic landing all the time. But no true shuttle pilot uses automatic landing. Oh. Hey, we'll be visiting that hostile planet Kanamit Prime on Tuesday. I guess it's time to update the security detail deployment plans, Thrax. I don't think so. No security chief makes deployment plans. They wait and examine the lay of the land and decide on the spot how best to disperse the guards. Sure they do. Security Chief Dickerson always makes elaborate and well thought out deployment plans for his security teams. Maybe, but no real security chief makes full deployment plans. Really? I stand corrected then. Excuse me, gentlemen. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spock? The arguments you were both employing, Mr. Jacarl and Mr. Thrax, were not logical. In fact, you were both exhibiting the No True Scotsman fallacy, also known as the appeal to purity. We thought our reasoning made sense. That may be so, Mr. Thrax, but the form of your arguments are invalid. No true Scotsman, or appeal to purity, is an informal fallacy in which one attempts to protect their generalized statement from a falsifying counterexample by excluding the counterexample improperly, rather than admitting error or providing evidence that would disqualify the falsifying counterexample. The claim is modified into an a priori claim in order to definitionally exclude the undesirable counterexample. The modification is signaled by the use of non-substantive rhetoric such as true, pure, genuine, authentic, real, etc. Mr. Jacarl, you committed the no true Scotsman fallacy when you stated that only true shuttle pilots refrain from using automatic landing. Oh, yes. And Mr. Thrax, you also exhibited the no true Scotsman fallacy when you stated that no real security chief makes deployment plans. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Yes, I will endeavor to use better reasoning in the future. Yes, and so will I. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as no true Scotsman or the appeal to purity. It's only logical. <laughs>